top 15 best golf movies of all time you must watch. Golf is a sport that inspires passion. Some people may love it passionately, while others see it as a dull and sluggish hobby requiring too much attention, too much practice, and too much skill to play and enjoy. To them, watching a movie about golf is a better option than playing. Either way, golf is one of the most prestigious and oldest sports around, and it's been the solid basis for a couple of decent movies over the years. So that's why in today's video, we'll be talking about the 15 best golf movies of all time you must watch. Trust me, it is such a tense sport that it's super easy to poke fun at it. Even if you're a golf nut, or maybe not, movies like Happy Gilmore and Tin Cup have provided timeless laughs, and classics like Tommy's Honor seem to provide an interesting history behind the sport while celebrating the lives and achievements of some of the greatest players the game ever had. Although preferences may differ, we've ranked them in the best way possible. Just note that there's no room for Goldfinger vs. Bond or Spider-Man vs. Superman here, obviously. The best golf scene in non-golf film is definitely a work in progress. While choosing a definitive list is nothing close to easy, but we've had a go. There have been a couple of belters over the years, and a few stinkers. So what could be the best of the best golf movies of all time? Keep watching till the end, we've got a whole lot to show you. Now let's dive in. At number 15 from the rough 2013, the golf-based movie which was released in 2013 is a true story that centers on Katana Starks, played by the award-winning Taraji P. Henderson. Taraji P. Henson, an African-American who against all odds became the first coach of an all-men's team at the Collegiate. Despite the challenges coupled with low funding and disrespect, she assembled a ragtag group of golfers. Off the record, did you know that Sean Foyle, a well-known Canadian golf instructor, was Stark's real-life golf student? Oh well, now you do. Though sheer determination, she got to keep her job as the coach after leading the team to a record championship season. Number 14, A Gentleman's Game, 2002. Golf films, just like other sports movies, tend to serve as a metaphor for life's challenges and lessons, and such is the case with this amazing piece, A Gentleman's Game. This inspirational story is about a young Tommy Price, played by Mason Gamble, who is captivated by both the game and the country club his dad, Mr. Price, played by Dylan Baker, belongs to. However, his dad discourages him from the sport. Not being deterred, he gets a job as a caddy at an exclusive country club as he gets paired with a former touring professional. Professional Foster Pierce, played by Gary Sinise. This is an uplifting experience as he receives valuable lessons from his mentor Pierce, but there is so much more to life than winning. Golf fanatics may think otherwise, so. Number 13, Seven Days in Utopia, 2011. The golf movie is based on the book of a psychologist, Dr. David Lamar Cook, and it's about a young golfer, Luke Chisholm, played by Lucas Black. The young golfer had a temper tantrum in the course of a tour and subsequently crashed his car on Johnny Crawford's property. Johnny Crawford, played by Robert DeFall, is a retired golfer and an eccentric rancher who is quoted to have told Luke to spend seven days in Utopia, you'll find your game, and he did find his game. Did you know that the PGA pro Ricky Fowler appeared at the final scene of the tournament? He's the long-haired golfer if you take a closer look. Number 12, Dead Solid Perfect, 1988. Dead Solid Perfect is an American comedy drama movie following the life of a wild pro golfer, Kenny Lee, played by Randy Quaid, who is fed up and done with his wife, played by Catherine Harrell. The movie is based on the 1974 best-selling novel by Dan Jenkins and directed by Bobby Roth. As he makes attempts to maneuver his way through the tour, he learns a valuable lesson that there is more to life than the game of golf. Number 11, The Man with the Perfect Swing, 1995. An affection for golf drives this carefully crafted story about schemes, fame, and paying the bills. Written and directed by Michael Hovis, the movie is about a middle-aged ex-baseball player, Anthony Babe Lombardo, played by James Black. Having successfully failed at everything while trying to get the IRS from his case, Babe Lombardo had no choice but to rise from his couch potato life with only one last hope. When he invents a new perfect golf swing, it makes him believe that he can revolutionize the sport and create a name for himself. Determined to make it bankable, Anthony frantic maneuvers amidst vanishing friends, a disenchanted wife, and suspicious investors. Number 10, Miracle on the 17th Green. A 50-year-old man, Adman, played by Robert Urich, who hasn't seen the best of life, finds himself in a midlife crisis after losing his job. He attempts the game to find out if he has some hidden talent to succeed. This entirely new niche causes him to neglect his wife, played by Meredith Baxter. Despite not being entirely based on golf, the 1991 movie is a family drama engaging and full of emotion. At number 9, The Caddy, 1953. There's definitely no way we're going to skip this. Harvey Miller, whose dad was once a well-known professional golfer, is expected to follow in his father's footsteps, but he has a crippling fear of the crowd. 
Resulting from his fear of crowds, Harvey began to mentor Joe Anthony, played by Dean Martin, as he became arrogant due to his successive wins. Although Joe was initially disqualified after they both quarreled disrupting a tour, they later met up, this time with another comedy team looking just like them, Lewis and Martins. Number 8 The Squeeze 2015 If you're a fan of gambling on the course, then this is for you. Written and directed by Terry Jastro, the film centers around Augie Bactus, played by Jeremy Sumter, an ordinary young man from a small town in southern Texas with uncommon skills who makes a name for himself by breaking the course record and winning a local golf tournament. He soon finds himself in an uncomfortable situation and he needs to make money. He finds himself pitted against the big-time gambler who is well connected to the mobs and the game becomes a matter of life and death. Released in 2015, the movie was based on the real-life happenings of Keith Flack. Next on our list is Tommy's Honor 2016. 15-year-old Tommy Morris, played by Jack Lowden, is an avid golfer like his legendary father, old Tom Morris, played by Peter Mullen. This fascinating movie revolves around the true story of the challenging complex father and son relationship and the massive achievement of old Tom Morris. Old Tom is the town's club and ball maker as well as a greenskeeper at the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews. Over time, Tom outshines his father in the game while still in his teens and attracts flocks of spectators to the game. Number 6, The Greatest Game Ever Played, 2005. This film is more than just a golf movie, it takes an unbiased look into the history of golf. The 2005 biographical sports film is based on the true story of Francis Umit, played by Shea LaBeouf, a 20-year-old working-class boy who relentlessly tries to make his dreams of becoming a golf champion a reality. This was becoming at a time when golf was thought to be a sport meant for the rich. It is one movie you should check out. Number 5, Bobby Jones, Stroke of Genius 2004. Did you know that Bobby Jones, Stroke of Genius is the only movie in the world that was allowed to shoot at the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews? Thanks to me, now you know, yeah, you're welcome. The 2004 biopic pays tribute to Bobby Jones, one of the finest golf players of all time. Bobby is the only golfer in the world to win all four men's major championships in the 1930s in a single season. In that era, the majors were the U.S. Open and the Open Championship, the U.S. Amateur and the Amateur Championship in Britain. He soon overcame his anger issues and emerged victorious in the major tournaments. Unexpectedly, he announced his retirement from the game, which left many in shock. Number 4 The Legend of Bagger Vance 2000 The movie is based on a best-selling novel by Stephen Pressfield and directed by Robert Redford. An alcoholic battling his demons, he seeks help from a mystical caddy played by Will Smith. He helps him recover his golf game and get back on track in life. The movie is a highly inspiring and heartwarming story of personal fulfillment and triumphs over the challenges in our lives. Although it wasn't a top grossing movie as it had its share of criticism, I recommend you check it out. At number 3, Happy Gilmore 1996. There's hardly anyone who doesn't know Happy Gilmore. The 1996 American sports comedy is about Happy Gilmore played by Adam Sandler, a failed ice hockey player who discovers his talent in golf. Adam's life was a mess, his girlfriend left him and his grandmother faced eviction for defaulting on a loan payment. He tries his luck at golf to earn some cash and get the IRS off their backs. The movie went ahead to create the famous Happy Gilmore golf style swing. Next up at number 2, Caddyshack 1980. Caddyshack inspired and co-written by Brian Doyle is one movie golfers can't just live out of the equation. The movie has earned a cult following and is considered to be one of the funniest golf movies of all time. Murray's brother had a genuine experience of country club caddying. Among the characters in the film, Carl Spackler, played by Bill Murray, seems to have stolen the show. And last up we have Tin Cup 1996. One of the all-time classic golf movies is about Rory McIlroy, played by Kevin Costner, a washed-up golf pro who lives at the driving range. After he lost his love for the game, it is when he gives golf lessons to Molly Griswold, whose boyfriend is a pro golfer, David Sims, played by Don Johnson. When Roy becomes David's caddy, a rivalry emerges and Roy attempts to qualify for the US Open himself. Without a doubt, one of the best golf movies ever. Fun fact, Kevin Costner is a huge fan of golf and has a handicap of 11.2. Sports movies serve as a metaphor for life's lessons, which may include surpassing challenges we may encounter along the way. And for golf fanatics, there is obviously more to life than winning.